Grace and peace to you all from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Sisha Jamini Dintan from the UCCS AKZN region. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray that the word that comes out of my mouth does not return void, but it shall accomplish the purpose for which it is sent for. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Psalm 56, verse 3. We'll just focus on verse 3. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So this is the word of God. Amen. When fear comes, know who to trust. When fear comes, know who to trust. I'd like us all to put our trust in God. We must expect his divine intervention. The important thing that I would like us to know is that God never allows us to go through a season in vain. He has a purpose and a plan that he wants to accomplish through us. David, when he wrote this psalm, he was detained by the Philistine in God. David does not claim never to be afraid. There were times when he was afraid, like many of us during this unprecedented time of coronavirus. The pandemic brought fear to people. It changed the manner of doing things. What is important? Who do we trust in this season? To be afraid is a state of being fearful of something or someone dangerous that can cause cause pain. It is not a weakness to be afraid, but who do you trust? We need to know who to trust when fear sneak in. In particular, during these unprecedented times of coronavirus, we we are worried about the status of the pandemic. We're scared that we might contract it. As statistics are showing an increase in the number of new cases, government has eased the lockdown level to level four. As we enter in this new level, Level four. I hope we have learned trusting the Lord completely as we did in level five, maybe even more. What now? What happens now? When we are afraid, who do we trust? In this difficult time of coronavirus, I will put my trust in you. This is an action, an individual action, which allows us to deal with fear by trusting God. Trust in God is the best solution to deal with fear. Trusting in him as the only one who is able to save us. This is the action that can bring calmness in the middle of danger. Trusting God increases our level of faith. It is the evidence of our hope. It brings stability and peace in our confused environment. It produces addiction to God. Trusting God liberates us from our fear. We need to put our trust to God all the time. As the scripture says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We unconditionally have to trust in God and his word. When we read in the, in the text that is, is, is found in Romans 8, verse 31, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? We need to trust in him completely. Trust him with your praises. When they go up, surely blessings will come down. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. But in everything, commending ourselves as servants of God in much endurance, in affliction and in hardship, in distress. We are to stand firm on the solid rock, which is Jesus Christ, in whom we can trust, the sovereign Lord who reigns over all things. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.